Hey yo, what's up everybody? Home sir and welcome back to more Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough, real walkthrough, not a playthrough, with a dex build. And today we are gonna be going through the undead burg leading to the first boss. And we gotta take care of these guys first, otherwise they'll be lining us up while we're trying to cross the bridge. That guy isn't gonna give us any grief, so okay. Kind of got banged up a little bit. Uh, make sure you run across this bridge because there are guys with fire bombs up the, uh, on the top. And wow, fail with the parry. And got it. There we go. That is how it's supposed to be done. Let's pop an Estus. He's got banged up a little bit. Uh, pull this guy. Make sure you don't run forward too much because there is a gonna. Uh, there's a guy on the left side right there beyond that door, so be careful. Got another battle axe. Okay. Here's the guy. And boom. Parry your ass too. There you go. Uh, to be honest. Oh, we got a shield. That's pretty nice. Uh, this door is locked for now. Later on, we can open it from the other side. Uh, there's going to be another guy in here. Actually, there's two guys. There's one right here and one beyond that doorway up front. And I'm fucking with the parries when they do that uh, charge double attack. I don't know. I can't predict uh, the parry timing for it for some reason. I can't time it. And here's the second guy. And if you guys want this to be easier, um, equip a shield. If you have a shield, the wooden shield should be good enough for now. Uh, if you get a hollow shield, that's perfect because it blocks 100% physical damage. But yeah, just hold up a shield and once they attack it, the, the weapon will bounce and you can just whack them after their, we um, their attacks bounce off of your shield. So here is the black firebomb. It's actually better than the normal firebomb. And we're going to keep this for... Later, the mini boss I was talking about. Well, at least I consider it as a mini boss. But yeah, I'll show you guys what to do with those later. Uh, up here, there are three guys. If you have your arrows, uh, bow and arrows, you guys can use that to pull. But I'm cheap right now, so I don't wanna. I don't wanna be wasting it. This guy that's approaching us throws firebomb. He doesn't have a broken shield, so it's all good. And I'm gonna go for a backstab. There you go. And yeah, this part will, al will also be easier if you have a shield equipped because whenever they attack, you can just hold up your shield, and when they attack your shield, their weapon will bounce. So after it bounces, you can just land a hit. But I'm ch I choose to be difficult right now and try to fight them without using shields. I'm trying to go through the game as much as possible without using shields because back in the old days, before Bloodborne, um, or Blood before Dark Souls 2 actually. Oh crap, and there's three guys right here. And all three guys throw fire bombs. And I screwed myself for going under the little part there. But we got rid of the first guy. Second guy got me with a firebomb. Almost killed me. Hang on. Nope, I can't see. You can't see. Okay. Alright, relax. <laughs> Alright, here's the third guy. And I still can't predict the charge. Whenever they wind, I don't know why I, I can't I can't time it for some reason. Yeah, it almost got me killed, but whatever. We got some souls. Uh, I'm gonna keep the souls for now. I don't want to uh, spend any for now. Later on, maybe when we start buying things from the merchant um, to prep for the next part, I'll maybe I'll, then I'll spend some souls. But for now, not yet. And oh, at least we killed them. You actually could just walk up there and kill him. I don't know why I decided to snipe him. Uh, if you have the master key, if you start off with the thief class, uh, the master key is free. Uh, I know I chose the master key, but whatever. Go pine resin. This is a uh, this is a weapon buff thing. It's like a weapon buff. 
um, thing that doesn't really last that long. Uh, it lasts for a good while, but it's not a permanent thing. You can buff your weapon with electricity or lightning, I should say. And it's pretty useful on the first boss. But we're gonna beat them fair and square without using any buffs. So, there's that. And take out these guys. Okay, hollow soldier armor. And wow, I am missing the parries. I don't know, I was doing pretty well in the beginning, and now I'm just missing a lot. It's okay though, it's okay. We'll make it up by fighting the Black Knight down here. Now, if you guys are new to Dark Souls, I highly recommend you don't fight him without a shield. Make sure you have a shield that blocks 100% or this is going to be fairly difficult. Um, you can circle around for backstabs, but just to redeem myself from all those fail parries, I feel like I got to take him down with parries. Mm, nut shot. Yeah, if you can... If you, if you are willing to spend the time here to try to parry this guy to death, it is worth it. Okay. Uh, if you're using like a long sword, if you start off with uh, other classes and you're not using a dagger, you might, it it may take more than the, um, these few parries. Because um, daggers have higher critical damage. So, yeah, if, you're, if you start off with like a long sword or something, it, it, you're probably going to take um, <laughs> a little bit more. Uh, you could also circle around for backstabs. That works too. So if you want to circle around for backstabs, um, it's better if you do it in, in a more open area. This area is pretty uh, tight, so if you try to circle around, you might get stuck somewhere uh, if the knight decides to be aggressive. So yeah, be careful. Uh, walking up here, this guy's going to drop this flaming boulder. Not really a boulder. Flaming barrel, I should say. So I want to watch out for that. And trying to keep myself from getting hit. And I don't want to be trying to... I don't want to try to parry him on stairs. Because <laughs> uh, I feel like it doesn't connect sometimes. So I'm just going to try to cut him down. No Estes. There we go. He didn't drop anything. It's all good. Uh, beyond the store right here... If you have the master key, you can open this. If you can't, if you don't have it, uh, you can open it later. Um, down here, there is going to be a very tough NPC. And it has a potential to one-shot you at this point of the game. Okay, Because we are still like really low level. And uh, yeah, we don't got much HP. We don't got much defense. This guy right here, Havel. Uh, his big-ass dragon tooth weapon. We can get the set and like his weapon and shield later on when we progress through the game a little bit more. But for now, you can't get you can't get anything from him, well, except for a ring. <laughs> but you can't get his uh, armor if that's what you're interested. So yeah, best way to take this guy down. If you if you are confident in your parry, like if you have high confidence in your parry, then you know, be my guess, you can parry this guy to death. But uh, I don't have that high of confidence during using parries against this guy because if you screw up at this point, you'll die. If he if he connects that dragon tooth to your face, you'll die. So yeah, that's why I'm not trying to risk parrying. Dodging it and then backstabbing him is easier. So the way to do it, it's um make sure you have low equipment load so you can do a fast dodge, fast roll dodge. And the moment he's about to swing, you dodge into it, and then you go behind him and backstab him. It doesn't matter if he's two-handing the weapon or one-handing it. Same thing, so he's about to hit, okay, dodge into him, and then just walk in behind him. Don't panic, don't run. Just walk up behind him, and then just stab your, uh, <laughs> shove your weapon up his ass. See, just slowly walk up to him. It doesn't do much damage. And I'm assuming with other weapons, it's probably going to do even less damage. Um, the Black Knight that we just faced, if you're lucky, he'll drop his uh, his sword. Uh, and also, he is... Uh, the Black Knight that we just took on, he is a one-time deal enemy. So if you kill him, he's gone forever. He will not come back in, uh, anymore. If you, if you rest in bonfire and stuff like that, he won't respawn. So there's also that. And I think he also, there's a chance for him to drop his shield, but 
I don't think they'll ever drop their armor because you can find the whole set later on, like way later on. But I don't think they they ever drop equipment at, uh, other than weapon and shield. So yeah, if you got the, if you got the weapon, congrats. Uh, if you didn't and you want it, you could still uh, farm them later on. They'll show they'll show up again later on, and those ones will continue to respawn when you rest in bonfires. So yeah, if you're interested in Black Knights. You could do that. I remember the first time going through Dark Souls when I first started Dark Souls, and then when I saw those guys, I thought they were like the most amazing enemies ever. Yep, didn't get behind them. Ooh, almost died right there. I thought I thought I screwed up. Yeah, I thought I was gonna die, but nearly. Mm, he just missed me by a hair. And just walk up behind, stab. Yeah, this guy takes forever, but he drops a ring. He drops his ring, Havel ring, or Havel's ring. And in my opinion, it's pretty good because it ups your equipment load. So, or actually, it drops your equipment load. So you can wear stuff that will usually cause you to do a fat roll. But if, if your overall equipment load is super heavy, I don't think it'll save you either. So, yeah, it will save you somewhat, but it won't save you completely. That is why I'm taking this guy on. But if you guys are having trouble, you don't have to take him on. But the easiest way is just right before he attacks. You just, you don't even have to wear armor against this guy if you, like, if you want to take him on, um, just, you just got to get the dodging down. Now, right before the attack lands, like, the moment he's swinging and just dodge into it with a fast dodge and you will be safe. And now I can roll no problem with uh, the hollow shield. And here's the lore for the, the ring, Hamo's ring. So it, up, it uh, helps your equipment low. And here is the hollow soldier shield. It has 100% physical reduction. So yeah, you can, if you get, if you have the shield, you can take on the black knight with the circling around technique for backstabs. And it's also a really good shield because <laughs> you can block. You can block physical attacks without taking chip damage, you know? It's also pretty good. And that is pretty much it for the enemies of this this first part of the Undead Burg. Nothing here. Uh, there is a crystal lizard right into in the first barrel right here. And pop it. And, oh, it didn't drop down. I thought he was going to run down because he usually does, but not this time. Just going to slash away at him. Crystal lizards don't bleed. <laughs> and it drops a twinkling titanite and a large titanite shard. And large titanite shards can go, uh, make your weapons go up to plus 10. And then titanite chunks can make it go up to plus 14. And then Twinkling Titanites, they are for special weapons. So yeah, but we will, we'll, we'll talk about more uh, these things later. But yeah, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this episode. It's kind of a short episode, but in the next episode, we will be taking on our first official boss of Dark Souls Remastered. But yeah, until then, thank you all for watching. Hopefully this video has been entertaining or helpful or enjoyable. And if you all found at least one of those qualities being this video, then hey, stay tuned for more. But until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Homes out.